three, two, one, boom. This is going to be a huge one. Um, this is the glory and the roar of being. It's a show dedicated to Aubrey McClendon, and it is about everything that's happening right here at Boom U, which you can see right here. We've got a lovely little storm going on. It's not much of a thunderstorm. There's a nice, soft sprinkling of rain in the background. There's some pretty clouds. Um, and then there's a story, of course. The story is this place, Boom U, and uh, the, the stories that emerge from it uh, as blended by three basic um, uh, communities. And that's why we throw in this kooky slogan that someone cooked up on, on uh, Fifth Avenue that says, connecting crude cannabis and consciousness, one gusher at a time. Now, that said, everyone by now sort of has suffered through the rules of this show. We talk about crude cannabis and consciousness all the while. Just giving you this lovely little shot of boom you. We've also brought in value added uh, mind you, we value, oh shit, here come the bells. We value added with this music in the background that we're going to turn down. We're going to get back up here. You're going to hear the bells. They're booming. They're going to give you eight of them. It's huge. After those eight bells, you'll be followed by uh, some lovely performance of either the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Oklahoma chant, or it could be the, the song Oklahoma from the musical. There's one. Two, get ready for this. Works every time in Vegas. Three. Oh shit, there it is. Okay, here comes four. It's going to make its way all the way up to eight. Five. Once we get a top eight, six, then we'll give you the basic news of the day, seven. And there's really some great news in the cannabis world. Eight. All right, here we go. Let's start with cannabis. Uh, even since we're going to connect crude cannabis and consciousness, uh, on Capitol Hill right now is quietly, very quietly passing through a law. Hey, there it is. Oklahoma from the musical. There it is. Don't deny it. Okay, so on Capitol Hill right now, that's the United States Capitol Hill, quietly making its way toward uh, President Obama's signature is a bill that will allow the, the, uh, de the, the uh, Department of Veteran Affairs for the first time to be able to prescribe to veterans uh, medical marijuana so they can treat a variety of ailments and it's probably no coincidence that probably medical marijuana seems to be one of the most effective ways to treat PTSD a lot of veterans have that, so this actually is, is, is a lovely little compassionate thing that um, everyone's going to allow at the federal level um, because they recognize the compassion of it just as a society, as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a nation, the United States can't possibly handle just open legalization yet. But it's getting there, it's inevitable, and this is a step in the right direction for everyone involved. So that's the big news from the world of cannabis. The world of crude, uh, I think it's at about 50 bucks a barrel still. Nice, nice little simmering point for crude oil. Probably plenty of companies making money at that level. I'm sure Devon makes money at 50 bucks a barrel. Sandridge doesn't. Or they might again. I don't know. They're going through bankruptcy, so they might. But uh, Devon does, and uh, Continental, I'll guarantee you, does. As a matter of fact, that's, oh shit, you just saw that lightning. That's our connection to uh, Boom U is Continental Resources because their chairman and chief executive officer is on the Board of Regents, I think, I hope, I don't know, this is reckless journalism. Here comes the thunder. Did anyone count the number of seconds between they, when they saw that lightning and the thunder we just heard? I'm gonna guess it was roughly five, six, seven seconds. That's basically how many miles away the storm is. Now, also we're about to approach the transparent barrel roll, so you have to prepare yourself because on these shows, which make no sense and have no real meaning, at four minutes and 20 seconds into it, you go through a transparent barrel roll, and you, you go through a Mobius strip mine trip, and you come out, fuck, dude, and it's spelled P-H-U-C-K-E-D. That's all we can get away with it here. But that's going to be happening pretty soon. And I'll tell you what we'll do is once we get through that, we'll complete our uh, Connect the Dot series with crude and cannabis and consciousness, and we'll talk about consciousness, our final sector, which happens, get ready, four minutes, 20 seconds, right now, transparent barrel roll. Oh, shit. You come out of this one, baby. You're now basically at the Sooner Theater every Tuesday. We're hoping this will happen eventually. The radio show, the ye old time oil patch radio show about connecting crude cannabis and consciousness now takes us right into consciousness. Smooth segue. This is May 31st, the last day of May, which was, I guess, Mental Health Awareness Month. And I didn't know that. But being that as it may, no pun intended, who caught that shit? Um, mental health is obviously a huge part of... Uh, consciousness so we'll use this opportunity to discuss mental health and its aspects in consciousness 
and we'll say uh, as we get further we'll, we'll delve into the um, strata of depression and it's and its specific very clear ability to affect consciousness and it'll be a fun kooky thing so hang around for it in the meantime um, and we'll also really confuse it and we'll take it to the next level and we'll attach a little bipolar uh, component to the top of it little icing on the cake we'll bring you there it'll be okay it'll be a rabbit hole journey but it'll work it's a stereoscopic mind and we would be uh, remiss if we before we closed out this god-awful episode if we didn't mention our sponsors because the drilling fluid used today was actually Lee's Fitch Merlot pretty dang good eleven dollars go get it at the cellar I'm not even pronouncing it correctly and I don't give a shit Lee's Fitch Merlot not bad that was the drilling fluid and that took us down to eight thousand feet why because there were eight bells that rang from the Tower of Boom U. So you got to keep up with this, kids. It's all connected. Now, the um, field services that allowed us to uh, frack our feelings of being, that was provided by, surprise, um, Lemony Ken. Lemony Ken's um, premature uh, field services out of Colorado. And what that means, kids, is the, 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 uh, uh, the canvas is being um, uh, pulled back and the truth is being told that the uh, field services uh, companies that are being sent down from Colorado are good. We're not complaining. They're good. But it's not the real deal. I know it. You know it. They know it. We'll take care of that eventually. We don't know how. But the, the field services were provided by uh, Lemony Ken's um, Lemony Zesty Ken's uh, field services and they got us to this point which is good enough we're gonna shut this baby down this has been the glory and the roar of being in three two one boom